Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelie, if you guys are new here, and if you're not, thank you for coming to another video. Today is gonna be a great day. Today is gonna be so fun and I'm excited for it and I'm ready to start it. And that is the energy that we are trying to keep for the rest of this week. Because after getting back from a trip, I always kind of hit a slump. I feel unproductive, lazy, tired, exhausted. I miss the trip. Like the vibes just aren't always there for me. And I feel like that's what I've been going through the past three-ish days because I just got back from Puerto Rico. I wasn't motivated in my workouts. I just wanted to sleep all day. Really just like not excited to romanticize my life and enjoy summer at home. And today that changes. We have a super fun day planned out. We're gonna have a great workout and it's gonna be a great vlog and a great day. It is currently 10 a.m. I woke up around an hour ago. I feel like that's kind of when I've been waking up in summer, like around eight or nine. Of course, if I feel like I need the sleep, like I stayed out late the night before, I'll let myself sleep in. But I notice that I always feel more productive when I wake up in the single digits. So I've been trying to wake up around like a good eight or nine. And we're gonna go to the gym. But first you guys, I have never tried the Celsius flavor in my life. I tried it for the first time today. And oh my God, I wish, oh my God, it's so good. I wish you could like, just smell it. Give it a smell. Like I wish you could smell it through the screen. It smells like summer and it tastes, like it's so sweet. It's like peach vibe with extra, like with an extra swirl to it. Like, I don't know. It's so good. Try it. If you have it, try it. It's like actually my new favorite flavor and that is saying something because I've had the same favorite flavors for like years and I think this one just became number one. Anyways, we're gonna go to the gym. Today is supposed to be an upper body day, but honestly, I kind of really half-assed my workout yesterday. So I think we're gonna do like a full body moment. Not really sure. And then I kind of have to be speedy with that. And then we have a very exciting call today actually, because I don't know if I've said this on YouTube, but one of my goals for the summer is to become a certified personal trainer. And I'm telling you guys this to hold myself accountable. So hopefully that actually ends up happening. But I have a call with someone today to kind of talk about a potential course that I could do. And then we're going to go to the beach with all my friends. So that's going to be super exciting. I hope the weather's good. I didn't really check. Okay, yeah. So it's going to be 71 and sunny by the coast, which for it to be sunny, it's going to be a good day. Tomorrow is actually one of my best friend's birthdays. And we're going to celebrate her today by going out to dinner. I think we're going to go get Italian food, play dress up, and it's just going to be a super fun packed day. That is the little overview. Remember, today is a good day and your mood, your perspective, it is all in your hands. So what you tell yourself is what happens. So tell yourself you're gonna have a good day and then have a good day because that's what we're doing right now. I'm gonna drive to the gym and let's have a great full body slash upper body workout. <laughs> back in my car sorry if you guys are at a slant my car is slanted right now but I actually had a really enjoyable workout and I'm telling you guys it's all about your mindset because yesterday I actually had the worst workout ever I left so early I was just like dreading the whole thing and today I had a really good time and I didn't have like the most intense workout I didn't end up doing like a full body hit workout or anything like that I literally just did a push day which was like fine I incline walked a mile and then I ran a mile and then 
I just did a push workout. It's like 12 o'clock right now, so we took our time. Like that should not have taken me almost two hours, but it did, but it's okay. I was like enjoying my time on the treadmill. Then I was like posting and making some content. Like I just took my time, it was great. Honestly, what I've realized that like makes the biggest difference is like when you make your workouts enjoyable and you listen to your body and you just do what, oh, I have to end my workout actually. I just got a new Garmin watch and I forgot to end my workout, oops. Okay, anyways, you have to make your workouts enjoyable because you could have the most intense workout of your life but if you don't enjoy the type of physical activity that you're doing, you're not gonna see real progress because three intense workouts and then you give up is gonna do less for you than three weeks of maybe less intense workouts or more flexible schedule, whatever it may be, because those three weeks are gonna add up more than those three days. So that's really what I've realized and how I feel like I've been seeing progress and just like enjoying fitness and not putting that pressure on myself. Cause it's like, I'm not in a rush to reach my goals. I'm not like a bodybuilder, you know? I would rather just enjoy my workout on a day to day basis and like, see progress over time than like make myself dread my workouts. And the other thing is honestly, diet is so much, I don't wanna say more important, but I would say it's like key when it comes to the speed that you see progress. Because if you're trying to put on muscle, a one hour workout versus a two hour workout, if your diet doesn't reflect your goals, it's not gonna make a difference. Like you can't out train a bad diet. So I've realized if I don't feel like doing cardio, I won't do cardio. I'll just try to make sure that my diet is really on point. Say you're trying to burn calories or lose fat, whatever, be in a calorie deficit. Running one mile burns around 100 calories. My midnight snack, I just ate like 300 at least. So it's just like, I'll make sure not to snack at midnight and it balances out. I do cardio because I enjoy cardio and I do feel like it helps keep me lean, but I just am trying to like give you that example of like, at the end of the day, your diet is what matters when it comes to your goals. So I've been kind of not putting that much pressure on my workouts to just like enjoy it and do what I love, which has been lifting Pilates and running, which is another thing I'm really trying to get back into running because I want to feel athletic. Like I want to train like an athlete because I like how my body looks right now, but I don't feel in shape. I might look in shape, but I don't feel in shape right now. Like I've definitely been way more in shape in the past like when I was training for my half marathon I could just wake up and run five miles and now I definitely can't so I'm trying to like get back into running doing more sprint workouts like mobility I just want to like feel my best and strong and powerful my body which is like why I love working out it's like yes obviously I work out because I have physical goals but at the same time like I train up her body so I can carry in both bags of groceries at once you know it's like feeling like capable in your body is so rewarding I want to feel like if I was being chased by someone I could outrun them you know like I want to feel that level of athleticism again so I'm gonna try to start getting back into that I got a new watch we're getting there we're getting there I've just been sleeping in and then it gets really hot so then I don't want to run outside and I don't feel like running five miles on the treadmill so that's been an issue but I think that like as summer kind of really like gets into full swing and I have a better sleep schedule I'll start waking up earlier because right now I'm just like loving not having to go to school so anyways that was my workout today now I'm gonna go home because I have that call I was talking about at 12 30 which is literally in 20 minutes we're gonna do that and then I don't think we're going to the beach anymore unfortunately I really wanted to go to the beach but it's gonna be a little bit chilly until like later today so then all my friends were like let's just swim instead so we might just have a pool day both options are great but I I think that's what's gonna end up happening. So I will see you guys in a little bit after my call when we're all ready to go to the pool. Okay guys, Ninja Creamy taste test. I'm literally so lazy when it comes to these. I just poured in a Fairlife protein shake, froze it, made ice cream, and then I threw in some protein bar as like a little mix in, kind of like Snickers. And look at this volume and texture. Let's give it a try. Tastes like chocolate ice cream. This is honestly one of my favorite ways to get protein in during the summer. It's like protein ice cream and you definitely don't need a Ninja Creamy. You could totally do this by like blending a protein shake with some ice and milk in like a blender. So good. Just make sure you don't add too much milk because otherwise it won't be as thick. Okay, I'm about to head out. Like I said, we're going swimming at my friend Olivia's pool. I just wanna show you guys, this swimsuit is from Bright Swim. Literally, they have the cutest patterns. 
definitely one of my go-tos and then i'm just wearing these zara shorts that i've had forever we're just gonna have a super chill casual pool day and the uv is seven today and i just checked the weather and starting tomorrow the uv is gonna be 10 and 11 every single day which is crazy so i'm really trying to like take care of my skin more so i just put on some sunscreen because i know this is so bad you guys but i used to not wear sunscreen so i'm really trying my best so i just put on some sunscreen we're gonna go lay out for a little bit so let's have a great pool day Okay, hi guys. It is a little while later. We are mid get ready with me. I'm supposed to be all ready to go to dinner at 6 p.m. It's 5.20. I'm so excited. I love playing dress up and getting all fancy. Like, it's just so fun, especially when you're just gonna like go to dinner with the girls. Like, ugh, I'm just so excited. And we're all gonna wear like nice dresses and it's gonna be so much fun. And it's even more fun when you're celebrating people that you love. Like today, we're going out to dinner for one of my best friends, Natalie's birthday. I don't know why I had such a hard time saying that. But she is turning 19. Like the real celebration is this weekend. But we decided to just do something a little bit early and celebrate her today. I think the plan is to go to one restaurant for drinks. Obviously, the drinking age is 18 here. So we're going to go get like mocktails and Diet Cokes probably. But we're just gonna have like that for like appetizers and then we're gonna go get Italian food. The area that I live in has like a few pretty good downtown areas. They're kind of cute. We're definitely gonna be overdressed, but that's okay. Guys, the power of makeup is crazy. As someone who's been like really struggling with their skin, I've been wearing a lot more of it. And like if you looked at me right now, like you would not think that I have pimples. I mean, maybe right there. But like for the most part, like my skin feels perfect, which is literally just proof that nothing on social media can be believed and that makeup exists for a reason. So please never ever compare yourself to what you see online because I guarantee you it's not real. And honestly, I've been wearing a lot more makeup than I usually do, which could be a factor to me continuing to break out. But like I just haven't felt as confident going out with less makeup because I used to have the clearest skin ever and I honestly don't really know what changed But I used to have super clear skin and I would like never wear makeup and I didn't really understand like the power of it until I started wearing more of it and I'm like wow This stuff works also, please comment videos that you want to see and like ideas because I love filming like day in the lives and like week in the lives, but I want to make sure that I'm like fully giving you guys what you want to see. And also, I don't want to get repetitive. So like if you guys want a Q&A or something like that, maybe like, I don't know, I could do a video of some sort with Grant. Let me know because again, I'm always here to make you guys happy and give you what you want. I don't know what dress I'm going to wear today. I'm either going to wear like a super cute like white blue summery one or like a skims black dress. Very different vibes. So I'm kind of trying to do like very natural little glowy makeup that could go with any vibe because I don't know what dress I'm going to wear yet. I've been loving my hair crimped recently. So I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to have to speed this process up a little bit. So I'm going to finish getting ready off camera and then I'll pick up the camera when I'm with all the girls. It's my nails. Oh, it's my vlog. We're all ready. Yeah. Wait, should we do a little outfit check? Yes. Okay. This is from Skims. And then my heels are from Revolve. Okay, my dress. Oh, I'm too tall. My dress is from Princess Polly. And, well, actually, Dean Pop from Princess Polly. And then my shoes are Amazon. Dress is from Urban. Shoes are Steve Madden. Um, set is from Addicted. And shoes are from Amazon. Um, my dress is from Abercrombie, but it's Sarah's. So I'm borrowing it. Um, my shoes are from Aldo, and here's my dress. 